Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Burr from the Kimball Library and we're here to do another craft. Today I thought we could tackle something that is, I don't know, you just don't see it every day. And it's a little holder. I guess you could call it a purse or maybe just something to hold your things in. I have a few discs here that could be my favorites, so I could put them in. Or pencils, erasers, a notepad, maybe some letters. Anyway, it's good for a doorknob, or next to your desk, or over your arm if you go to the store with mom. So it's fun to make, so let's begin. I've started with two paper plates. And they both need to be the same size. And then I cut one in half right across. And I took a hole punch and punched along the edge. You can see it better on this side. But I punched all along the edge of the half that I cut. And then you can take your piece and lay it onto the plate that will be the back of your purse or holder. And I lined it up very carefully. And then I took a pencil and where I punched the holes, I marked on the big plate so that when I take the small half off, you'll be able to see exactly where I punch my holes so that when we put it together, everything will line up perfectly. There's a lot of punching in this craft. We don't usually do that as much, but this one is a lot of punching. Then after we have our holes done and we match them up, we're ready to thread. And I've used this pretty yarn, but you could use bright ribbon or this is actually double. So it's really extra long and I just put it in half so we have a thicker piece of yarn. And I'm starting at this end and then we begin. And into the hole on both plates, once you line it up, you just have to find a hole to start and you just push it through. And keep your string double if you can. And the very first thing that I did was to tie a little knot right around the edge. I left a little extra, but I tied a knot so that it will stay in place. And then it's easier for my holes to match up. So we continue going in and out of the holes around the edge, down and then up, just like sewing, until we get to the other corner. And then we tie it off. So the next thing that we would have to do is to probably take a new piece of thread and tie it on either side to make the handle. And it will look like mine. I've used a little, a little plate to do mine, but you'll see that I've done the holes all around the bottom, secure, and then I've made the handle on the top. And there we are. I've even punched holes all around the plate. It's a little bit more decorative, I thought, so that's what I did. And then I took some 
little stickers. I love stickers, but you could draw a picture. You could just color. Oh, there goes a sticker right off. Whatever you would like to do. And there's the little purse. That's a fun thing to make. I suppose you could even put candies next to your bed. That would be great. Perfect place. Have fun making this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.